Hello and welcome to Arctic Refuge. It's another 1v1 ranked game in the greatest real time strategy. And uh, a Neon player playing ranked. This is great. Uh, Agiton has actually played quite a few games recently as Zayn moved up in the ranks and uh, running up against uh, Carlitos. UEF uh, looks like first and second land, third air. I'm not really sure if he wants to stay in this uh, starting position for three factories with his ACU, but let's see if he changes his mind at some point. Uh, second air from Agiton with six pigeons, pretty low. Uh, and is he? Yeah, he's going to have at least yeah two mask structures, but low on power. One thing about these trees, you can get a few of them early on if you're going low on power in terms of pigeons but let's see how that works out but of course on uh, Arctic Refuge very important uh, thing to do at first go in the middle and grab this mass it is uh, possible to not do that if you're very aggressive at taking the sides but it's a very dangerous thing to do if you wanna not gamble on this map you gotta go to the middle and fight the other person split the mass in half and then figure out what happens if you do take over most of the map control, you can negate uh, all that reclaim. Perhaps people should try that. Uh, Cybern probably would be a very good faction to deal with. Here comes a flare for Agiton. Scout for Carlitos. And uh, no, uh, no raiders yet. Uh, tank. It's a defensive play there from Carlitos. I believe it's 24 damage per shot for the striker. Health on uh, Flare is 70. So, uh, uh, three shots will take care of a Flare. And a single shot will take care of a Scout. So, so far, just a whole bunch of building, expansion, and uh, three different directions to expand actually f for both players actually four engineers moving out so it's a fairly aggressive expansion here from Magister. and this engineer all it's going to do is grab reclaim one thing not uh, to neglect is all these low rocks quite good especially at first also some rocks in these positions but this early on I think grab the mass structures might be a better move especially given that how exposed the engineers are by themselves and uh, a raider here would have been nice, although the path of this flare and a scout did tell Agiton there was no raider there. Um, bypassing that mass structure, it's a, it's a bit uh, disappointing. Usually a factory in this position plus a raider. Not a raider, but a raider. Hopefully there's a difference in those. Um, it's really nice. You can see all the different units coming in, and you can also begin your attack on the metal of course you want to get those point defenses on radar and then get some artillery to take them out two kills for this uh, flare so successful attack from Agiton tanks are going to come in to try to take care of it. it looks like they will but losing that engineer will stop the progress of Carlitos uh, across the bottom still has a nice engineer here up top with nice protection and here comes a bomber from a second air factory. Scout makes the mistake of flying over the metal. And uh, a rare kill for this uh, flak that's usually sitting here usually gets killed by some RD or an ACU. And I don't know if I agree with this. Oh, well, killing an expanding engineer is always good. And actually, if he would have continued flying and denied that engineer, that would have been nice because then uh, either expansion to the bottom or to the top for Carlitos would have been stopped. And now, this is a formidable force from Carlitos moving through the right side. And this is the effect of. Oh, yeah, Nanta Air Chart now for Carlitos back at base. Carlitos appears to be leaving uh, the middle to Agiton. After those three uh, land factories, he's still not moving to the middle with ACU. And yet another kill. Five kills now for this bomber. Great bomber from Agiton. 
and the adjutant is going to get a whole bunch of mass and given this much mass he needs to build a whole bunch of power he's got two engineers on power production and uh, yeah he needs a lot more to utilize all that mass because now he's if he had allies they'd be very happy but he doesn't it appears this engineer has dodged this tank a bit of luck now this engineer ideally would come in and reclaim the other engine Yeah, and these uh, groups of tanks for Carlitos, so it's going to be big problems for Adjutant on the bottom. Up on top, I think this tank is going to cause quite a bit of damage already with four kills. It's going to deny some mass extractors. And if this point defense is uh, successfully constructed, which it should be, I think Carlitos is in a position to take both sides. So we just might see the difference between taking sides and uh, getting the middle reclaim, although now Carlitos is on his way to the middle. And a mistake from Adjutant, he did take out these point defenses. He could have used them defensively. Instead, he could have shot these two tech to power generators and quickly reclaimed them. So this RD for Carlitos is not even going to be needed. He'll use it against the ACU instead. And I gotta say, Carlitos in a pretty good position. It'll be very important to see what happens. To these two tectopegians they're now both destroyed so there's 2,000 mass just sitting there adjutant yeah when you got that much uh, mass you got to stop anything that costs a lot of power like this air factory and use all that mass up uh, probably upgrading a couple tech to mass extractors he's already upgrading one yeah, he's upgrading two at a time that's what's really taking a lot of power it's 120 power that's being taken by those two Deck 1 mask extractors. Of course, another 60 by the power spam. Carlitos now in the middle. And now we're seeing Edge 10. Total of 3,600 reclaim. Carlitos only at 600. So 3,000 difference. Carlitos picking up some of the last sieves. And Carlitos in firm control of the map, but does not have uh, as many tech to mass extractors as Adjutant. Of course, uh, having two tech to mass extractors is having is the same as having four extra expanded uh, tech one mass extractors. So it's the same thing as having one of these positions. But of course, having one of these positions also denies it for the player. So it's still an advantage for Carlitos. Meanwhile, Adjutant here could be in a bit of trouble. 20 kills. Getting hit by a whole bunch of Tech 1. Carlitos following up. Adjutant wants to. And now he is getting hit by uh, the ACU. Uh, Carlitos could have blocked Adjutant perhaps. Yeah, that would have probably won the game. Adjutant running a straight line, getting hit by EF Artie. Something that always hurts. And now here comes a bunch of Tech 1 from Adjutant that uh, should come in just in time under 2000 health Carlitos continues to push yet another overcharge 900 health and uh, Carlitos stopped for some reason I think one more overcharge a couple more shots it would have been game over but now Carlitos has to be very careful he's now all alone and oh wow this these tanks if they take out this tech 2 mass extractor will be a huge victory for Carlitos This, this is something that should not happen. And we do see some tanks now rolling back. Of course, the excuses, Adjutant is fighting for his life. But that's not going to change the fact that there goes the Tech 2 Mask Extractor. Just in time. We're now seeing some counterattacks from Adjutant. And this point, defense will rip up Aurora's quite nicely. On the other side, we're seeing a point defense started by Carlitos. If we can finish it which looks like he will be. There is uh, some artillery in Aurora's which are going to get killed somehow. And now we're seeing really uh, Carlitos taking over the map. More power. And the advantage that Edgerton did have, he lost quite a bit of it with the loss of the tech to mass extractor. At this point what he's got to do is use the fact that Aurora's are better than uh, strikers. And on this map, you can really use that. There's a lot of space to play around. 
of course, in order to do that, you got to have good radar coverage. And it appears now Carlitos is going to be in the middle. That's another four uh, mass directors that he's going to have. So all the expansions plus denial of some of these early expanding mass directors of Edgerton. Carlitos is in really firm control. Although mass stalling quite badly. This is a massive Tech 1 land spam. Adjutant also stalling. But numbers of units definitely in Carlitos' favor. Here the Aurora is not kiting, are going to die quite badly, especially when they don't move against artillery. And that force from Carlitos is going to just continue denying mask structures. Looks like the ACU for Adjutant is going to respond to that threat, but there's more problems on the other side. We're now seeing artillery for Agitan taking out Tech 1 point defense, which should open up the door to deny this expansion. And actually, one thing I didn't notice there was a third Tech 2 mask structure. So at one point, Agitan had three Tech 2 mask structures, and he's actually rebuilding that third one. So we're seeing teching versus map control, and on this map, I think. Uh, map control is definitely the favorite and now Carlitos rushing in with an inferior force we're now seeing Agitan really building up his Auroras and some mistake from Carlitos running into a take on point defense and now a bit of reclaim for Agitan just out of curiosity we can see a total of 20 tech 1 mask extractors and a single tech 2 mask extractor for Carlitos and we got a total of three Tech 1 mass extractors and three Tech 2 mass extractors for Agitan. So, a massive difference. Which we can see here. Of course, these numbers on a map with so much reclaim are very difficult to read. Now, a whole bunch of engineers moving out. Still no Tech 2 terms of tech anywhere to be seen although a very good looking tech one force from Edgerton looks like he moved most of his units down now the secondary force moving to the top and now this tech one point defense will be rebuilt by Carlitos tech two land from Carlitos we're seeing mongoose which will uh, counter the roars very nicely with their superior range and the great thing about uh, the Mongoose, they have two different weapons, one which reloads every 10 seconds, has a big splash, and uh, the regular one that most of us have seen, both of those have the same range. And against the Auroras, that first one is very nice, so you can do a nice hit and run against the Auroras, which are packed together using the Mongoose. <clears throat> More point defenses being put up, seven kills already on this freshly rebuilt point defense of Carlitos. And, uh, really seeing the value of Tech 1 point defenses and it looks like now with some reinforcements Carlitos will be able to hold on to the bottom position quite easily. Seeing an attack of a bunch of artillery uh, which probably could have killed Agitan's ACU if they would have seen him but Agitan at the end of an upgrade should be able to finish it and uh, yeah it looks like Carlitos will die against the superior Aurora force and a nice force going through the middle to expand tech to point defenses in the middle for Carlitos these will be nice and Agitan really needs to act now to grab back a bit of the map he is going to push to the middle he really wants to deny that tech to uh, point defense in terms of intel he should have a pretty good one he's got a nice air force it looks like maybe a superior one from Carlitos Total of uh, 25, 23 airplanes, interceptors versus 18. So similar numbers. It looks like more units being pulled to the right side by Agitan. Now there are some mongoose standing by. Agitan with a tech 2 ACU. In a tech to point defense in a very strange position. He needs to get the mass structure and get some reclaim. And what we've been seeing from Carlitos is groups of artillery, which 
kill anything in their path very quickly, especially anything that doesn't move. Carlitos leaving the middle uh, with his ACU. Pierce is going to move up the right side as Agiton is going to move through the top of his ACU. He's going to attempt to take over the left expansion. We're now seeing multiple tech two point defenses being constructed by Carlitos plus some radar. So the middle will be very difficult to take with just tech one. And at this point with this uh the game time nearing twenty minutes we've seen the lack of mass extractors really offsetting that early reclaim that Agiton did get. Carlitos now with the higher score. A bit of an air fight, a few interceptors look to have been thrown away by Carlitos. Carlitos moving in with a tech two force. And of course Mongoose can outrange the Aurora. Yeah, we've just seen some of those weapons. It's the really re long reload weapon from the Mongoose. And now up on top, a uh, good looking force from Agiton can put pressure on Carlitos if Agiton decides to use it. So at this point, really, it's up to Carlitos to lose this game, to make a mistake. This is very, very good control. There are some issues with a couple of Aurora forces. The one on the right uh, is going to die with enough micro. The one on the left uh, could be problems if it takes out this tech on point defense, which it will. But there is a nice response here from Carlitos. So now, a couple of mongoose running in. It looks like it'll be an attack from Carlitos. He's going to rush, try to sandwich these roars. I do not expect them to survive. A rather big fight here, mongoose guiding. Edgerton pulls back as well. More tech 2 units, basically a mongoose spam. Carlitos sitting back at base. Some tech 2 power generators have been started. Edgerton. In the back here, still, what's what's up with people today? Uh, uh, not grabbing free mask structures, instead choosing to reclaim. Edgerton with a tech to point defense creep in a very isolated part of the map. See how that works out for him. Actually, Carlitos could do some very nice attacks through the middle if he wanted to. Instead, he's just building up a defense. Carlitos is another one of those players. Plays extremely safe and defensive. And this is exactly what we're seeing. And Agiton now uh, has been a tech one versus tech two for quite a long time, which is uh, which makes it very difficult to make any progress. Of course, uh, Aurora on this map is particularly good, but with these numbers, I don't think there's much hope. We do see tech two air, however, some swift ones. I'm going to build up a, this is actually a good looking swift wing force might be able to take on this actually should be able to take over uh, air control if that's necessary for Agiton and if he switches to some gunships creates all kinds of problems for these mongoose and of course in a spread out map like this gunship is very powerful and a tech 2 land uh, yeah we already do see some tech 2 flak more defensive positions for Carlitos. So Carlitos choosing to play extremely defensive. He's now pulled back on the top. This will allow a huge reclamation for Agiton. Agiton now sitting at 13,000 reclaim. Just enough power to support his uh, mass. Carlitos, 7,000 reclaim. Also stalling quite badly. So both players stalling uh, such a way that makes this build capacity quite redundant. Multiple Tech 2 factories and this is not NG mods so both of these full price. Yet another Tech 2 power for Carlitos in a situation where he probably doesn't need any more power. Now the Mongoose yeah, should be moving in. You just gotta keep moving because getting hit by Aeon Artie 
it is nobody's fault but the player controlling the units. And now it appears the big thing that's just happened. Edgerton has taken over the top expansion, which will, which is exactly because Carlitos took his units and moved them directly into uh, Edgerton's base. This looks like a good move, so he sacrificed an expansion for an opportunity to attack. And these mongoose now are going to come under fire against gunships. There's going to be a question whether or not these gunships can kill the mongoose in time. We do see a response from Carlitos with Tech 1 interceptors. Taking out those gunships will be very valuable. Mongoose targeting the Tech 2 engineers. And I think in this case, uh, build capacity and power, the two main sets of units to attack. Looks like the gunships have all been taken out by Carlitos, but this will cost Carlitos air control. Swift ones should be able to clean up. Mongoose taking out a Tech 2 mask extractor. Uh, tech, to, tech 2 mask extractor has been lost twice. So all kinds of things happening. Can't forget about Adjutant. He's got Tech 2 in his ACU. He's building up a very good defensive position in the back. And there are a back home. Play some defense. Adjutant with a significant uh, power disadvantage. So that... Uh, not sure if that's really been utilized quite well. And Carlitos just continues to make more and more power. I think under these circumstances, getting the gun with ACU, which he already has, the obvious thing to do. Plus, Detective Flack assisting the ACU. It's always nice to see. So, besides losing, losing this Tech 2 mask director, perhaps a couple engineers, this is really a minor uh, assault that happened to Edgerton's base. I don't think it was worth giving up uh, the position up on top. So Adjutant definitely the winner of that last exchange and then he just needs to hold on to both of his expansions. Massive tech to force on the left, gun to ACO against the Aurora's on the right. So problems in either direction. And uh, Carlito is actually being suicidal here, facing Aeon without air control with Aeon having tech to air and protecting yourself with only tech to flak, uh, basically asking to be mercy. I think Adjutant here needs to pause all production, except for mercy production. One well, mercy costs 300 mass, and uh, he can get that very quickly with plus 50 mass. He also has good build capacity. Probably get a little more. And then uh, Carlitos would be dead. Instead, Carlitos now can be given a chance to retreat. More tech to gunships that need to utilize this opportunity to take back some of the map. Although, yeah, it looks like some cruise missiles are going to be built by Carlitos in the middle. Nice defensive position with a shield. And Adjutant here this continues to build up a base. Some opportunistic units trying to sneak in for Carlitos. But just too much tech to point defense in the back. This kind of tactics are not going to work. Tech to air for Carlitos, getting some Janus bombers. Pretty decent air fighters, of course, as well, but will not compare to the Swift ones in air to air combat. But those bombs would be quite nice against uh, either this Tech to power, or these mask tractors, or uh, groups of Auroras. And it appears now we're about to see Tech 3 land from Adjutant. So Adjutant really taking back this game. If he gets Tech 3 land, Harby is extremely powerful on this spread out map. Will cut up all these mongoose very easily. 350 uh, damage per uh, actually 300 damage per shot, 375 damage per second for the Harby, and the health here for mongoose uh, for full health mongoose is 650, which three shots takes them. Pillar also takes five shots to kill. And this assault, now some Janus bombers, it's an attempted snipe. Did they drop their bombs? I don't think they did, I'm not really sure why. And that would have been really nice to have those bombs fall, that would have denied quite a bit of this position. Looks like the Janus bombers are gonna go against the ACU, but the Swift ones are not gonna let them have too many passes. Yep, very difficult to take air back from a Oh yeah, this is nice that Tech 2 PGN is going to be killed. 
but taking uh, air from an Aeon player at the Tech 2 stage, a very difficult thing to do, but a nice attempt. And I think if those bombs were dropped initially, taking out a couple of these point defenses, this could have been a very different fight. But as it is, pretty much full health for Agitan. He's going to rebuild this, plus get some reclaim. <clears throat> so yet another th thing that has gone in Agitan's favor. He's also now got his Harbies. Actually, a pretty big group of Harbies on the field. He needs some power. He needs to rebuild his power to make sure the Harbies actually have a shield, which is a significant part, or their health. And the Aurora is pushing up ahead of the Harbies to try to put some pressure. And this is the place where we have uh, Carlitos. And the thing about both Harbies and Auroras, they're not the units you want to attack ACUs with unless you're ready to kill them. Oh, I was hoping those Janus bombers would drop some more bombs. But this is going to be pretty bad for these Auroras. Really nice spread on those bombs. And some tech to point defenses. So this is not a position you want to attack. Uh, this is great. Tech to gunships. Oh, well, why Why did they were just thrown under the bus there? Yeah, and the reason for that is that Edgerton had to respond to all the Janus bombers abusing his Auroras. Harbies, freshly built Harbies thrown into the fire. Tech 2 mask tractor is going to be destroyed, but that's really not enough to justify losing all those Harbies. Sad to lose those gunships as well. Those could have done all the damage in the back. And Agiton now looking pretty good. And here come cruise missiles. We saw these being built. There's three missiles next to each other. So a single volley can't kill an ACU. And on major losses for Agiton to the cruise missiles. Uh, 180 mass per... Uh, 170, 180 mass I believe per missile. And it costs 900 mass to make that, so definitely worth it to shoot that with a missile. You can also kill a tech to point defense, which costs 450 mass. So, giving up the middle on uh, any map is bad, and on a map where from the middle you can reach anything with cruise missiles is especially bad. Looks like a counterattack from Carlitos, but this can be a lot of Harbies, and this is going to be really bad now for Carlitos. He is going to retreat back to safety. The thing that Agitan really has got to do now is rebuild the, his mask tractors and get some TMD gone. Imagine he must have uh, some mass problems, definitely huge mass problems. But there is uh, some reclaim opportunities around Agitan getting some TMD. And looks like another raiding group on the left side. And uh, after 31 minutes, surprisingly, Agiton still in this game and actually doing all right. Although, after those cruise missiles, his mass looks uh, quite devastated. Tech 3 land from Carlitos to Percy's on the field. He's, of course, a great at killing Harveys. 1,600 damage per shot. Total health on a Harvey. 1300 plus 4600, 4, so basically 6000. So, four shots against the Harvey will kill it. Four shots from Percy. Seeing some tech two units here for Carlitos and more cruise missiles. These will probably take out. Yeah, that's a tech two mask ejector. There goes a tech two point defense. And Carlitos just abusing uh, Agiton at this point. Rather sad. Now a Harvey response. Although this is now looking to be a pretty decent uh, pretty decent Tech 3 land force from Agiton. Agiton forced to pause his Tech 3 factory. Needs all the mass for TMD. Recycling his factories into TMD. A TMD is just slightly more expensive uh, than a Tech 1 land factory. Harvey's moving in and uh, not surprisingly I think one Harvey might die here. Actually 
20 health, it will survive. Just one more shot would have killed it. So no losses at all. Oh, there goes that Harvey now with the Percy's. But that whole middle position was a loss uh, taken with no losses. And now the Harvey's going to continue to push against the Percy's. A couple of these Harvey's are going to pay with their life. Still plenty left over to kill the Percy's. Now Percy's coming in in support. And this is where target fire from both sides would have a big advantage. I just sent things better, but pulls back, but yet another victory. And now map control is in adjutant's favor, and he's got some engineers in position. Reclaiming all this, I think, would actually... Yeah, this is not looking quite good for adjutant. I'm, I'm not really sure Carlitos kind of led up. I mean, he's still been building up. He's got some very good infrastructure. He's got some Tech 3 point defenses, Tech 3 power. He's going to get an Omni. Got tech to mask structure, so he's been investing in infrastructure, thinking he's got enough for defense. But uh, the Harbies decided otherwise. Of course, those Percy's could still be quite good. And the Pierce Tech Three Air is the plan for Carlitos. He's also building up some point defenses directly in his base. This would be a great target for adjutant. All that tech to power. Although, of course, there's also Tech 3 power in the other base. But given that Carlita is going Tech 3 power, he needs all the power he can have. Now, more Percy's for Carlitos. And uh, we got to say, not being able to build Tech 3 land for so long could be a problem for Adjutant. Still has a decent Harvey force in the middle that was just victorious. But this Harvey force is now definitely superior. To the Harvey force, the Percy force. So if Carlitos wanted to take back middle at this point, he probably could do it. Although we are now seeing restores take three power for adjutant. And with that take three power and all those swift ones, he should be able to utilize the restores quite nicely on this map. Although the Percy's is the advantage for Carlitos. So we're gonna see air for adjutant land for Carlitos although the land for Carlitos is going to be quite slow so all the speed is in adjutant's favor let's see if he can use it here minute 36 adjutant with 40,000 reclaim Carlitos only 24,000 16,000 difference is very significant basically 20 Harvey difference and yet another assault now from Carlitos is going to deny the right side and actually, at the main base, there is absolutely no defense whatsoever. Except a couple of the freshly built uh, restores. And it appears that Ajitin will attempt to hide them. Swift winds for Ajitin, taking air control once again. And here come the Percy's. Harvey's will give the middle back to Carlitos. Won't even attempt to fight. Carlitos also has an engineer standing by. He's going to get some really juicy reclaim. Harvey, now oh, this is just some tech two moving to the right. And uh, appears Carlitos is going to try to make this a very strong defensive position, getting some tech three mask structures, tech three shields as this uh, force from Carlitos is going to run into the restores we'll give him the intel but with five restores it's not likely that this force will do much might take out a couple engineers and actually for the third time this is going to be the third time that Edgerton loses that particular take two mask tractors except this time he actually won't the restorers have prevented that, but it was very close. And now the Percy's have pushed the Harbies all the way back to Adjutant's main base. The Harbies will respond. The Percy's take such a long time to kill. I would love to see these Percy's go ahead and take out this Tech 2 and Tech 3 powers and basically end this game. They said the Percy's are going to stop. They will take out some mass. Here comes some air from uh, 
Carlito sent the air for Edgerton completely out of position. And restores are pretty good against the air, but with these numbers, they're going to start falling out of the sky. A couple more Herbies left. Here come the Swift ones for Edgerton, and now Fatty for Carlitos here, minute 40. Yep, and it uh, appears that I missed it, but Tech 3 power was taken out. Another one's nearly complete. Not losing this Tech 3 power for Adjutant. Extremely important. He would be stalling even harder. But he's about to finish Tech 3. So for a second there, I thought Adjutant was really making it back in the game, but I think those Percy's. Uh, Kind of erase that hope, and also we got to consider that Carlitos has been really investing heavily into his economy, so he's not a much better position to make much more deadly units. And this fatty here, there's really no counter for adjutant against that fatty. We're also seeing SF, which means Carlitos will take air. See what the restorers can do if so they can slow. Carlitos down enough. There's also Tech 3 onto air here, some place you never want to fly. And it appears those Swift ones are going to get demolished. Yeah, there's plenty of ASF. Well, if ASF fight over their own base, they will win this battle. And perhaps uh, taking out some of these loose mask structures, at least the ones on the right side. Fighting here behind Carlitos is probably no longer an option, although it was an option. A little while ago. And of course, a really nice reclaim once again for Edgeton. More restores. Carlitos sitting here underneath two different shields. Take three ACU. Killing his ACU with restores will be very difficult, although that could be the last hope for uh, Edgeton. Let me actually speed this up a little bit. Yeah, the Harvey's back in the middle. Need more engineers. Oh, very even map control. But let's actually check it out for Carlitos. How many Tech 2s and Tech 3s he's got? He's got four Tech 2s, Tech 2 mass extractors. Imagine for Tech 3, he's got a whole bunch sitting on five which means it is nearly at 200 mass production it means you can make fatties in under two minutes more restores so adjutant 100 percent restores and in this case if the fatty is going to be the weapon of choice to kill adjutant the only thing that the carlitos really needs to do is grab some flak with it or really build up quite a bit more air because This right here is a lot of restores. And this would be the opportunity for Edgerton to end the game. I think if Edgerton were to attack now, he would win. But he has no way of knowing the ACU is moving like that. It's one reason to scout always to look for opportunities like this. Galilee is taking a risk moving away from underneath his shield. Perhaps he feels it's going to be much more safe if he moves back home. He is upgrading the shield to deck 3. And now uh, it looks like this opportunity isn't going to be lost. Should be enough time for Carlitos to get back home. A uh, massive uh, Percy force through the middle. These Harveys not given the uh, order to retreat when they should have been. And they get uh, absolutely demolished. Some scouts not coming out for Adjutant. The best time to scout is when you're building your units. So I always want to get a scout and then build your units and get another scout. These scouts are a little late. See Carlitos not working on yet another shield. Yeah, Carlitos taking a very defensive approach, playing very safe. Throughout the game, Edgerton almost took it back and an important fight here, ASF versus Restes. And I think actually yeah, the SF is going to win. 
So no more attacking options for adjutant. And okay, so this is apologies. That's a GC. This is a very quickly built GC by adjutant. Perhaps this is one of the reasons Carolitas decided to move out of the way. Well, this actually makes it quite interesting. Where, where the heck was this built? Yeah, this GC uh, will take out this whole base. We'll lose quite a bit of health killing all these units. She's sitting next to a bunch of these. Take one, take two point defenses is not good for your health. But a nice, uh, nice attack against solid tech three. On the other side, we're seeing a very good attack from Carlitos with a whole bunch of Percy's. So he's going to deny the top expansion. As the GC was actually killed by the fatty from Carlitos, a big setback for Agiton. He also had some strats attacking, but it looks like there was no response from Carlitos. Now the fatty is going to move through the middle. Imagine getting fire and rate of Agiton's base and just go ahead and kill it. Although now it does appear that Agiton was able to make a whole bunch of uh, ASF taking back air, at least uh, momentarily. ASF from Carlitos moving in. These resties. Looks like they were not given enough time to kill every single Percy's. A couple of Percy's left over. Create all kinds of problems for Agiton in the back. But the bigger problem, of course, is the fatty. Which is now in firing range of Agiton's last remaining units. Fatty will be under fire from ASF, but good protection. Agiton calls GG, given that there's really nothing you can do. So, hopefully people enjoy this one.